thermal equilibrium and black body and the CMB. If an object with higher temperature is in contact with an object with lower temperature, heat is transferred from the object with the higher temperature to the object with the lower temperature. Because of the heat transfer, the temperature of the body with the higher temperature decreases and the temperature of the body with the lower temperature increases. When the bodies are in contact for long enough time, their molecules acquire the same kinetic energy and both bodies acquire the same temperature and are in thermal equilibrium. Black body is a body that absorbs all incident electromagnetic radiation. A black body that has a constant temperature emits radiation that its intensity and wavelength depends only on the body's temperature and not its shape and composition. A black body emits more energy than any other body at the same temperature and the energy is emitted isotropically, independent of direction. The CMB, discovered by Penzias and Wilson, has the most perfect black body spectrum and is uniform in all directions like a black body. This means that the CMB photons were in thermal equilibrium, they started with the same temperature. For the photons to have the same temperature means that they had been interacting with the matter and with each other for long enough and had enough collisions so that they all ended up with the same kinetic energy. This means that the photons from the CMB were colliding before they were released. They were colliding with matter and with each other and means that the universe was much smaller and had a very high temperature before they were released. For the electrons to be released means that they stopped colliding and for this to happen the universe must have had a sudden expansion and drop in temperature. So the photons that are seen in all directions in the universe, CMB, were confined in a much smaller place with a really high temperature and were released in the early stages of the universe when space expanded and they no longer collided with matter and each other and they could escape. When you watch television on analog TV, about 1% of the static signal is from those photons hitting the television antenna.